Hi everybody, Steve Carlson at Clemens Boats in Sandusky, Ohio, your Great Lakes Albemarle dealer. I'm down here in Edenton, North Carolina. We just wrapped up our 2024 dealer meeting. Uh, I'm going to do a little overview here on a 36 Express that's available. Um, this particular boat, you can see, does have the uh, tuna tower um, in the Great Lakes. Most often we do just a hard top look, um, and we've also done some marlin towers. Uh, pretty often in the Great Lakes, our guys will go ahead and do a swim platform, so available with or without. Um, the theme here at Albemarle is making the boats fit the local customer and how you're going to use the boat. Uh, when you do the just the hard top instead of the tuna tower or marlin tower, uh, one thing to point out, this um, ladder section here actually does not extend out to the gunnel. The supports come down and land on this section here. So easier access to the bow um, for people that are thinking about that. You've got a nice handhold there. And then as you get forward, so an easy boat to move around and even easier with the typical hard top set up in the Great Lakes. Um, you can see the typical saltwater uh, rod holder set up here. Usually in the Great Lakes, we'll add a few more, move them a little bit closer together. Um, and then we can also change the angle of these rod holders along the rocket launchers to make them more usable for Great Lakes style fishing, uh, set up to run your planer board rods, both big boards and little boards. Um, looking back here, you can see the transom box. Um, this can be set up to be a plumbed live well, bait well. It can also be set up with freezer and refrigeration. Um, just a massive, massive cockpit, uh, plenty of space for however you like to fish and entertaining. Big in-deck fish, fish box that's also removable to get to the lazarette. You've got a centerline uh, mezzanine style seat and a couple of rigging stations here that are pretty flexible on what you put into them. So on this boat, this is a, uh, this one's plumbed as a bait well. And this one over here has some uh, refrigeration or freezer. Uh, we can do a cockpit grill. Um, basically, the transom boxes back here, which are a huge compartment. That could be a bait well, freezer, refrigerator, fish box. So that box and these two here can be whatever function you like. You got some storage cabinets down below here this under the mezzanine seat is the day hatch easy access down into your engine compartment but the entire helm deck does lift up so great access this particular boat has cummins power also available with other power options that we can discuss typically the recommendation is um, you set up the boat with the power that you're either most comfortable with or um, you have the best service network in your area. So that's different uh, for everybody. Um, rod holders here, you can see uh, these are the traditional heavy duty uh, saltwater ones. We can do whatever you want here for the Great Lakes. We've had some guys that do nothing. We've had some guys that uh, will send their downrigger mounting plates down some track systems so we'll make the boat uh, work for you uh, this one does not have bolster pads in it but we typically do put the uh, the bolster pads in the boat uh, one thing to point out here in the back you've got toe kick space up under this uh, transom box you've got a transom door and as i mentioned this boat does not have a swim platform, but typically in the Great Lakes, we will go ahead and put a swim platform on. Um, just a massive wide open cockpit on this boat. Great access to the bow. And as I mentioned, if you do this with a hard top instead of the tuna tower or that this boat has or a marlin tower, um, if you just do the hard top, the supports here land in this space here so it's easier to get around the sides um, real nice custom enclosure 
I'm going to do another video up on the helm deck. So Steve Carlson at Clemens Boats, Sandusky, Ohio, your Great Lakes Albemarle dealer. Get in touch with me for more details on a 36 Express Albemarle.